I definitely want to build it this go around for like 1500 horsepower. We haven't touched this thing in four years. I melted a bunch of pistons, I screwed up a block. Just hurt stuff real bad. So I came home, I pushed it in the garage, and here it's been. You see the engine bay still covered in oil. We yanked the motor out. I parted what was good out. I use the cylinder heads off it now as heat sinks at the shop for building turbo manifolds. Uh, the block I think is in like a Camaro or something now. But yeah, part out the whole turbo kit, wound up stealing a bunch of little shit off of it for that truck that I daily drive. And I've been slowly kind of, well, I haven't even done that. I was going to say I've slowly been recuperating parts to replace the ones, but all I've done is the coilovers. Everything else has been just kind of, you know, taken off and thrown and whatever. And so this is exactly how it sat for four years. So, we're going to get this thing on the trailer, get to the shop, start getting the LS in it. What is this? Oh, carbon, uh, carbon scuff plates for the cage that now obviously never made it into the truck. That harness is probably long expired. So, we've got a lot of stuff to do. Obviously, get the LS in it. Um, we're going to be running this truck on a Holly Terminator X, and I'm going to be using their 6L80 controller. And eventually, I'm going to be piggybacking the factory computer to make the data stream and the cluster and all that stuff work because it will drive me nuts not having the factory stuff work. I paid a lot of money for this truck back in the day, and I definitely still want the heated seats and the air conditioning and all that other jazz to work. So, Gonna be a process, but I'm not that concerned about it. I just really want to get the motor in and get it running, start building a new turbo kit. Um, probably gonna wind up with an S500 frame turbo on it. I don't know if it's going to be, well, it's gonna be a single turbo for sure. I have an LY6 motor right now that's been put together that you're gonna see in a bit. I definitely want to build it this go around for like 1500 horsepower. Made about a thousand prior, it worked really good. I've learned a lot since then on sizing various turbo parts, you know, tube sizes, etc. So I'm going to do full, proper, real turbo headers this time instead of a log manifold setup. Two different directions I want to go with this truck. One of them, obviously, is the normal have a, you know, front radiator and fans and AC condenser and all that jazz. The other one is have the turbo right in the grill. I haven't decided which way I want to go yet, so I'm 50-50 on either. Uh, I would appreciate your opinions. And pros and cons, if you know of any obvious, you know, obviously I'd have to do either a much smaller radiator or a bed-mounted radiator. I'm not sure that I want to commit to doing that to the box, even though I've already cut it for the roll bar. So, yeah, let's get her dug out. We got her hooked. finally got the truck inside and up on the stands I just pulled out the transmission and transfer case that's been just hanging literally by the train mount for four years on end off which was mostly off already 
I'm gonna just set that there to see what it fits like. I'm gonna have to wind up cutting this cross member out down here, moving that all up for the intercooler, but anyway. So, next plan of attack, um, cut these motor mounts out, cut the factory tranny cross member ears out, right there, and then uh, probably remove all the brake lines out of here, the wiring, all the factory fuel lines because we won't be using those anymore. And then I'm going to start uh, fitting the motor plates, getting my drive line angle set up. And uh, hopefully putting this basically right back in. I don't expect it's going to be for good, but I gotta start laying out the drive line angles in CAD and getting my motor plate brackets drawn and getting the motor plates trimmed up and that kind of stuff. I think that's gonna do it for the first video on the truck. We've been a month since I filmed the first clip, maybe longer. So now that it's in the shop, it's going to move a whole lot longer. I'm going to try and pick away at it at least a few hours a week. Um, like I said, next up will be getting these motor mount guys gone. And then, uh, yeah, starting to get the new driveline in. So see ya.